I come to the floor this evening along with my colleague from the state of Washington, Senator Cantwell, to talk about a truly remarkable man from our home state of Washington who we just lost last week. Mr. President, Billy Frank Jr. was many things to many different people. To his family, he was a loving husband and father. To the dozens of Native American tribes in Washington state, he was a hero and a champion for hard-fought treaty rights. And to millions of others across our state and across our country, Billy Frank Jr. was a Marine who represented the best of what America is all about, fighting for what you believe in and never, ever giving up. Mr. President, I was back in Washington State yesterday for Billy's memorial service and looking around at all the people there whose lives he had touched, I was reminded of what made Billy so special. Billy was the type of person who defined the term larger than life. He was the type of person who had so much personality and so much ability and so much passion and love in his heart that it was very hard to believe it could all be contained in just one person. Mr. President, when Billy believed in something, he didn't just make his argument, he held a fish in. He built a movement. He didn't raise his voice just to be heard. He banged down the doors of Olympia and here in Washington, D.C. until he got what he needed. And most of all, he never flinched in the face of opposition, and he faced plenty of it, from hate, hate and discrimination to being arrested and abused. And over a lifetime that took him from the banks of the Nisqually River to the steps of the United States Supreme Court, Billy made sure that the rights of Native Americans were protected and honored by the United States of America. He led the fight to ensure tribal rights to native lands and salmon har harvests could never be stolen away. And over time, he became much more than an advocate. He became, in many ways, the face of so many Native American communities across this country. Mr. President, now as we grieve and try and think about how to move forward without this larger-than-life man, I'm reminded that while we have lost Billy, so much of his life's work truly remains with us. Because all that he accomplished and all that he achieved, whether it was power and influence or court decisions and new laws, it was never about him. It was always about his community, his tribe, and protecting treaty rights for all Native Americans. Billy was someone who did so much and worked so hard, not so that he could gain power or wealth, but so that the people, the land, and the fish that he cared so much for would never be brushed aside or forgotten. That's a rare thing. Billy's life's work wasn't a job for one man or one woman, but somehow he pulled it off by himself. And so now it's going to take everyone who knew him to fill his shoes together and to fight for the tribes that call Washington State home. So Mr. President, I want to conclude by quoting something that Billy once said. He said, and I quote, I don't believe in magic. I believe in the sun and the stars, the water, the tides, the floods, the owls, the hawks flying, the river running, the wind talking. Their measurements. They tell us how healthy things are. Uh, they tell us uh, because we and they are the same. And that's what I believe in. Those who learn to listen to the world that sustains them can hear the message brought forth by the salmon." Unquote. That was Billy, Mr. President, and we will miss him.